the history of our country is falsified. All important events in our history and names of the main heroes of these events have been changed or abolished. The name of our country is pronounced with mistakes and it needs clarification with Georgia you represent. Our boundaries are measured by others and we continue to live in barbed wire defenses. In our Soviet schools, nobody taught us that we were part of Europe in the first place. Our story could be well told by the Rabati Castle that puts a mosque, a synagogue, and a church together in one space. We knew that Metidom of Shushanik was written in the 5th century, but we had no idea that it was a feminist novel. The Night in the Panther Skin, a poem wonderfully blending Christian moral and Islamic aesthetic, was also written in Georgia. Beside an image of a woman in Soviet propaganda, the real images of women have been erased in our history, and the Soviet Union was scared of real, strong, and wise women. After all, they had the reason to fear. Spreading of Christianity is also associated with the name of a woman. The most exciting governing epoch relates the name of a woman governor named the king. Georgia is among those first 20 countries where women could vote. It happened in 1980. We also had a newspaper, Voice of a Georgian Woman, in that period. Editor-in-chief of that newspaper was journalist and feminist Gato Mikeladze. Thousands of Georgians took part in the World War II fighting against fascism. Some of them were even high school students. When the Georgian language faced the risk to be deprived of the status of the state language in 1978, seditions on posters for the series of large-scale protests were written with lipsticks. When the Russian army entered the center of the capital on April 9, 1989, soldiers began attaching protesters and used prohibited poison gas, killing women with spades. These victim women and girls have returned independence to my country that had been lost for 70 years. At the same time, when the independent country faced a real economic crisis, women tried, women tried all legal and illegal ways to reach richer countries. They did not refuse to work physically hard to send money to their families. In the 90s, the money sent by those women to their families saved the Georgian economy. It was the only money circulated in our country at that time. Georgian women were fighting to men centuries ago and to the system of Soviet era, as well as in the period of independence from Russia. Today, their own husbands began destroying them. The statistic of femicide increased in recent years, and it is disaster for the country of 4 million inhabitants. We see our solution in the earlier bringing. In the first books for children, we have decided to return disappearing women through these books and tell our children about their uniqueness and strengths from early years. This is solution nowadays. Actually, we'll have passed the fog of the Middle Ages and are not throwing away babies with physical disabilities. Neither we strangle TB infected people under blankets, but today we don't trust medicine annotations, are looking at vaccination with doubts and put children's life at risk. Today we easily scroll Facebook and ricochet several modern information or chronicles. We continue scrolling with headlines of terrifying news and meanwhile spread butter on a croissant. We don't believe in real stories and feel a kind of alienated. But we are about to cry when a loving pair breaks up in a movie. We feel really emotional. Our heart begins to beat hard faster when we see actors in theatrical costume and we know for sure that they put their makeup a few hours ago. Actors came to the stage and said they are either Hamlet or Juliet. And we believe in it. Yes, we still believe in it. But why do we trust them? Because there is the right intonation in cinema and theater. The manner of telling stories reminds us of fairy tales and takes us back to childhood, and we recall our first impressions. Those adventures, fears, victory, that atmosphere is always with us, and if you look under a lobe, nothing is so close to life as a fairy tale, with its mystery, suspense, difficulties, with inevitability of fighting, fighting old kings, beautiful girls and boys, with kindness and evil. These unbelievable stories have formed the trust into the real life. Accordingly, perception and association of our children and at their early stage should understand that a pink dress does not mean success and certainly does not guarantee happiness. A girl is attractive when she is strong, is not scared, writes interesting books, drives a helicopter and wins words. In such cases, we would lose less energy for realizing the lightness, which sometimes is associated, associated with complexity. That's why we're returning strong women to fairy tales.
We consider that it is the best for our children. Mothers always know what the best is for their kids, even in difficult situations. For example, Jonathan Little in his wonderful novel, The Kindly Ones, writes that the, during the World War II, a mother, while standing in a line and waiting to be shot together with her husband and three kids, asked German soldiers to shoot her kids to immediate death so that they could avoid suffering. The mother was choosing the best for her kids in that very moment. In our country, like in other countries, most children lack lots of good. My colleagues and I cannot establish a special nationwide programs to effectively fight poverty, but we can write. We can write fairy tales that would be told by a mother or someone who loves like a mother. Most of fairy tale authors come from one generation. My generation was lucky enough. We understood that whenever you go, you should take your true story with you. You should tell your own stories. If a story is told with interest and sincerely, it would find its listener. My generation has revenge to that time, which was breaking us when we were teens and was separating us from the rest of the world. We have transformed those pains into literature and film stories. Today, the 90s, is the rich medium for us from where we can pick different and unbelievable stories, long or short, very ridiculous and rather painful. We talked a lot about these themes and became in focus. For example, Nino Haratashwili has built her creative work on these stories. She is a prominent writer in Europe today. These trumps are reflected in Vetmon by Georgian Demna Vasali, a creative director of Balenciaga House. To the end, we are gathered here on the most serious platform in the world in the contest context of fairy tales. If it is so, please assume my words as throwing a comb behind to grow a forest or mountains with thousands of teeth between a runner and a monster chaser like they do it in fairy tales. After all, a comb changes a lot in tales. Thank you very much.